guys. Why do you think he called us here again for Obama? Are we about to go watch a movie or are we about to commit organized crimes that put in jeopardy the safety of the entire world? Second option sounds more plausible. Boys, what happened last time when we were here? Can any of you remember? I don't know, bro. We haven't been here in a while now. Let me think. Yeah, since that would take ages for you, I'm going to tell you guys the answer. So last time we were here, we assassinated Putin. Yoo-hoo. Does any of you remember when I put a bullet right in his forehead? Bam. Ah, man. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, when we assassinated Putin and we basically started World War III, why did you have to remind us that moment? What are we doing today? Well, today, today it isn't like any other day. I just checked my phone and I got the message that Kim Jong-un already landed at the military airport base. So follow me. And as you probably guessed already, yes, today we're going to assassinate Kim, too. Oh, my. Come on, bro. This is like what? The fifth world war we're about to start. I mean, as a matter of fact, this is the world war. If you kill Kim, they go and start launching nuclear rockets all over the world like it's nothing. The only ones who would escape this would be Elon Musk and his homies if they get on the starship fast enough to not get hit by a North Korean missile. Yeah, but good thing we assassinated Elon Musk, too. Did you forget? So now we get access to the starship. So we are going to be the ones starting another civilization on Mars and get to be the presidents there. And Joe, close that damn door, idiot. All right, chill. Guys, I don't understand one thing. What did Kim Kardashian do to us so bad that we must assassinate her right now? Kim Kardashian? That would be a nice target, too. But for another day, for now, we're about to evaporate Kim Jong-un, not Kim Kardashian, you piece of shit. Are you that fried you don't know the difference between these two? Ooh, so when you guys said Kim, you referred to the Kim Jong-un. Well, in this case, yeah, I'm down with it. This fool wanted to come to America or some shit like a couple of days ago to talk about selling some of our resources and strengthen our relationships. Bitch, strengthen this bullet you're about to eat, El Mao. And how are we going to do it? Isn't he in another continent or something like that? On a scale from one through 10, how aware are you of what is happening around you? Stop doing trial tests of what Hunter receives from those Colombian guys and take your pills. I just said that he landed at the military airport and we're about to go there to finish him. I like how Joe thinks that assassinating another world leader would not end up in anything bad. I think he has his own world in his head that he filled up with all these thoughts while he was high on crack. So now he can't distinct reality from his imagination. Distinct this right hook from the left one. Leave my ass alone, bro, with all that scientific bullshit with imagination and reality. I just want to do something fun. Shit been boring lately. So what Trump suggested sounds pretty interesting. Oh, yes, killing people for entertainment. That sounds like something I heard before. Anyways, why did you stop there, Trump? What happened? Wait, bro, I'm seeing a big-ass white plane in that military base, and I don't think that's something our army has. Let me pull out my sniper and check real quick. Oh, yeah. And as I thought, look who arrived. I recognize that flag from 100 miles away. Literally. It seems like this ain't no joke, bro. Really pulled up on our American land, thinking nothing would happen to him. I guess they never learn. Then let's go and finish what we started. All right, listen, the plan sounds like this. Firstly, we are going to see where is he exactly so we can climb up a hangar, maybe. Or I don't know. The thing is that we have to be far away so that we don't get noticed until the bullet gets fired. After that, we run back to the car wherever we leave it at and get out of here before things get too messy. Messy? Bro, don't tell me we're about to shoot Messy too. We just met him the other day and he seemed like a cool guy. Come on, bro, leave Messy alone. I'm not with it. You need to learn to shut up, Joe, and to maybe double the dose you take daily to keep you sane enough to remember your name. We're not about to shoot Messy chill out. All right, Trump, you can see the crowd there. Now, where do you exactly want to climb to get a vintage point so we could take him out and not get seen? That hangar that is in front of them is too close. I know. That's why we're going to park the car right here and climb these water tanks or whatever they are in front of us. As you can see, they have a ladder we can use. Follow me and don't get your guns out yet. Come on, Biden. One step at a time. Take it easy and don't rush it or you might slip and fall on the ladder. You don't want to end up on the news that you fell on some stairs again, this time while trying to assassinate Kim Jong-un. Then shut up and let me concentrate. Right foot, left foot, right foot, right. Look what you made me do. I almost crossed my legs. Shut up, bitch. Okay, now let me go ahead and take my sniper out so I can localize where exactly is that prick so I can have full precision on his face and end this fight between North Korea and United States once and for all. Look at him. I can see his inflated ass face perfectly. Then shoot him. Come on, what are you waiting for? We don't have all the time to wait for you to press that trigger. I've made a reservation at a nice restaurant to go with Michelle after we're done. I gotta get home before five, so I have time to prepare. If you keep pressuring me, I might shoot the United States Sergeant Major. 
He's the one who told me Kim was coming to our country in the first place because Joe is useless as usual, and he probably didn't even know. But before anything, I want to call for some help so I make sure that plane never touches our soil again or theirs. I'm useless. If I'm useless, then what is Obama? He just leeches around us so he can keep his relevancy because he's expired. Trump, what are you doing with and that And what do you mean about is you that, need some help? Is that what I think it is? What do you have against that plane, bro? We can steal it and sell it to another country. I'm sorry, Joe, but all I heard was blah, 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 and some more blah, blah, whatever. Take cover and be aware because we will be wanted internationally in three, two, one. Welcome to America, baby. Hey, nice, bro. You killed him. Ha, look, Obama, we are done. Trump killed Kim Jong-un. And the alarm just went off. Wow, why are we still standing here and why are those people not running? Because I want to witness this show. Ah! All right, that was cool. Now we need to go. Oh my, were those, were those my fabulous, beautiful drones? That was insane. I want to see it one more time. Come on. We don't have time for that. We need to get fast to the car before the military shoots us. Nice bro, now we have to fight with our own military because they think our clones escaped from the lab and started going crazy killing world leaders. But who would believe that it's actually us and we were bored and decided to assassinate Kim Jong-un? Get in, idiot! Can't you see we have tanks shooting at us? You're making the situation worse if you sit and complain. At least complain inside a bulletproof car. Well, hopefully tank-proof car too. Hey! Ah, Ah, shit! Uh, Guys, follow, follow me, okay? We need, we need to get to that one hangar where we have the spare presidential car at every military base. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will see that, that car is 10 times more durable than the one we had. Just that, I hope the keys still work for it. We're behind you, Trump. Just keep running. And why did you just slice up the Sergeant Major? I thought you guys were cool, and he was the one who gave you the location and time when Kim Jong-un landed. Because he could have stopped all of this. Here it is. I knew I would find you. Get out of my way, you punk. How you dare shoot the one and only Donald Trump? Where are you guys? It seems like the keys are working. Donnie, here, let me get in. I never thought I would have to shoot our own military personnel. I feel like Obama back in 2010 when he was dropping bombs on his own people just to test them out. Why did we do this? Wow, thanks again. Now we have so the whole have country against us. Right by my ear. We're probably already on the news. And you were right. I think we are wanted internationally. How do we escape this? First of all, you need to chill out. We will get out of this, as we always do. But for now, let's focus on getting out of this military base without eating too many tank rounds. All these tanks that could have been sold to Ukraine, but instead they're using them on their own presidents. What a shame. You know what's a bigger shame? The fact that now I don't know if I can make it home before five like I promised Michelle I would. So I could get dressed up for the dinner we should have at that restaurant. How would I look, bro, to get there smelling like grenades? Obama really asked how would he look smelling like something. And you guys said that I'm the one who needs to increase his daily pill dosage. How about I spare them with Barrick? Just so you know, smelling and looking are two different things, buddy. Really? Thank you so much, Joe. I don't know what I would have done without this information. Maybe now that I have this information, I can go ahead and take out my 9mm gun, point it towards your head, and press that trigger so I can live my life in peace. Kill your own people. Just so you know, those kids and women from Alaska didn't forgive you for making them your test subject for your cluster bombs. It's better to mess up a state than the entire country and steal money from it daily. Boys, do you have any ideas on how we can get rid of them? We've been running for the past two hours and we still have the entire police department plus the army after us. And this car's fuel keeps getting lower. So I need an idea fast Ah! before we run out of fuel. And then it's wraps for real. Go into that hole you have right here next to you. Remember last time, that's how we escaped from the police when we assassinated Putin. Just that this time, go ahead and drive through it. Maybe we find an exit somewhere where nobody can see us. Oh, wow. Joe, wait a second. For the first time in your life, you might be cooking. Let's just hope the police is dumb enough that they don't know how to get inside here or that this tunnel is big enough to get lost in it and never get found. Well, getting lost in it and never getting out wouldn't be a good option either. But don't worry. I got this. Can you also stop trying to see if the car belonged to Spider-Man and stop driving it on the ceiling of these tunnels? Thanks. Yo, this looks like the underground part where the subway goes. Wait, I, I have a plan. I have a genius plan. Boys, we're going to escape. This is the best thing that came into my mind. We're going to escape. Just trust me. Just trust you? We just did trust you like an hour ago, and so far we're wanted by the entire FBI, police, CIA, and probably North Korean police if they even found out yet what happened. Bro, didn't you say we can blame it on the fact that our clones escaped the lab or some shit and that we weren't even in the country at the time the crime happened? 
These people believe anything these days. Trump, this seems like a backroom entrance. Where are we going? Trust and calm down. Listen, I don't know how much I can trust you anymore. I feel like we've been circling around these tunnels for the past few minutes, but what the... Nah, this is crazy. Did, did you just bring us to a subway station? Yep. Now get out and let's wait on this side until the train comes. Then we can take it and walk home. How cool is that? We can blend through the civilians. Nobody would even think about us parking our car on the train rails of a subway, then taking the subway home. Come on, bro, you guys can admit it at least for once that my plan is genius. I guess here it is. But I don't know what to say about it, bro. These people will probably call the police if they saw the news. That's if they didn't call for it already, and they are waiting for us at the next station. I think I'm going to pass on this one, and I'm going to get a taxi home. That way I interact the least with people. Yeah, I think I'm with Obama on this one. I don't feel like this is a good idea. If you want, you can give me the keys from the car. I thought maybe we find somewhere underground here to sleep until the things calm down, and we aren't searched by all the police units in the world anymore. The most you can get out of me, Joe, is my middle finger to stick it up your ass. Wait, that didn't sound good. Forget about it. Um, then I guess I'll call you when I get home if it didn't already get raided by the FBI. Ha ha ha. Wow. I need to flee this country for all the things I've done. Or maybe, or maybe not, because then I will look like a bitch in front of my people, and then they wouldn't vote for me anymore. Well, I guess we'll see.